The roar of the crowd, the clang of steel, the splatter of blood. Gladiators live to fight, their sole purpose to conquer their opponents. Who lives and who dies is decided by this. Released in 1991 by the Swindon-based Bluebird Toys, also known for the Big Yellow Teapot, Polly Pocket and Mighty Max, the Hero Gladiators toy line was a short-lived curiosity. The figures themselves are about an inch tall and unarticulated. If you can get past the heavy paint job, you'll see they have some really nice design details, but their main appeal was the self-contained gaming system that Bluebird incorporated. Each Gladiator comes with an individual power tower which displays his competency scored from one to eight across eight different characteristics. Cunning, skill, brains, speed, bravery, magic, agility, and strength. They also come with a couple of banners, each holding 20 skull trophies in the gladiator's personal color. Once detached from the banner, the loose skulls could be housed inside the tower for safekeeping. These things are so small, I'm not sure how any survived in the sticky hands of careless kids. They would have been prime hoover fodder. <coughs> to battle your gladiator against an adversary, you need to challenge a friend. Decide between you the length of the fight. This can be best of three, first to ten, or anything else you wish. To show you how to play, we need to Angry Crag! I'm Crag, indisputable ruler of Dimension X. I know, man. You ain't got to keep telling me. I'm not. I'm telling the audience. How many should we play to? A hundred. Ridiculous. We're going to play best of three. One of you goes first, rolls your power tower like a dice, and reads out the category and score. Strength, seven. Just like Top Trumps, your enemy reads out his score in the same category. Strength, four. And the gladiator with the highest score wins that round. One nil to me. Take it in turns to roll. What's it on? Bravery, four. Well? Bravery, three. Excellent. One all. Brains, five. Oh yeah? Brains, six. <laughs> Two one. You win, Crank. What did you- Quiet! This is my supreme moment of triumph! Let me relish it. Hang with Crank is filmed in front of a live studio audience. The victorious gladiator gets to take a skull trophy from his freshly vanquished foe and place it at his feet to show everyone just how badass he is. As a kid, I remember thinking how great it was you got to chop off the loser's bonce and walk around with a severed head for company. According to the instructions, if you win three skulls, your gladiator would become a Banner. You needed six skulls to become a Warrior. Nine to become a Conqueror. And only when you had won 12 skulls could your boy truly call himself a Hero Gladiator. You could go even further too. If you really wanted to show off, you could send off six barcodes from the back of the cards to receive two banners of pimped out silver skulls. By replacing the skulls your hero had won with silver ones, he'd become a Gladiator Master. If you sent off 12 barcodes, you'd get some blingy gold skulls and turn your hero into a Supreme Master. There are 12 gladiators in the main series. Let's have a closer look at the little bad boys themselves. We've got Mighty Gengar, Bold Jazrax, Wise Eldrock, Fantastic Fanglack, Fearless Gruntox, Swift Eyewolf, Noble Bloodrack, Hotfoot Hackor, Warlord Score, Masterful Atalak, Powerful Lashton, and Champion Loxor. The only one I remember having as a kid was Atalak. 
I'm pretty sure I was given it rather than getting to choose because I'm sure I would have gone for one that looked more evil like Lashton who looks like a gross ogre or Score who looks like a skeleton warrior and is featured as the main image on the card art. Interestingly, there is an almost identical but less monstrous, more barbarian looking image on the leaflet. I know which one I prefer. Bluebird also released a playset for the series called the Battle Arena, which I'm going to have a proper look at in a later video. This came with three exclusive gladiators, Mystical Mantrax, Valiant Strikor and Clever Hydrox. And that's still not all, there are two further hero gladiators. Firstly, Valiant Thorkel, who appears to be a red variant of Strikor, but with different stats. You can see him on Strikor's tower in the box photos of the battle arena, but he isn't mentioned anywhere by name. Then lastly, there is Agile Vadrock. This guy doesn't appear on the checklist and isn't mentioned anywhere either, but you can catch a glimpse of him on the front of the card. He's definitely one of my favourites. If you look closely, you can see he's actually got cloven hooves, which is a really nice touch. And I love that massive skull shield he's holding. I struggled to find any information on how you could have got hold of these two until finally I came across someone who explicitly remembers receiving them both as a promotional mail away exclusive. He still had Thorkel sealed with his tower, skulls and a leaflet explaining how to play and remembers Vadrock coming in the same envelope but sealed in a separate bag. A couple of other people remember picking them up free from Woolworths after collecting tokens in the Daily Mirror. If you had either of these two, let me know what you remember in the comments. Despite Bluebird giving them the cover on their 92 catalogue, I don't think these guys were a hit and they probably faded quite quickly into obscurity. They don't seem to be particularly popular online now. They do come up for sale occasionally and the good thing is you can usually pick them up pretty cheap. As something a bit different, a little British made oddity, I really like them. Come back for more Hero Gladiators soon. In future videos we'll have a close look at the Battle Arena, the European releases and more. Thanks for watching.